gosh. Oh, no. Oh, uh, 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 uh. Oh, um, uh, hey, hey, uh, the, the music's off today because when I went to go start, I had it on the wrong section. Um, hi everyone, welcome to the stream. Uh, my name is Quimby and I'm excited to be here with you today. Max, don't you dare. Max, don't you dare. You got first. Max, you got first. Max, you, you, you got it. Don't you, don't you dare play that game. Don't, don't you dare. Um, so big congrats to Max Nature Like for getting the first channel points award, but also big congrats to Spinorex, um, and... Max again and Penny for getting not first. Um, big proud of you guys. Way to go. Good showing today. Uh, I'm, I'm very pleased with the results of today's uh, of, the, of today's first not first distribution, I guess. Um, uh, yeah. Hi, everyone. Today we're going to be playing some hardcore. Uh, we might be working a little bit more on my great hall or I might go off on an adventure because... I cannot be contained. I'm wild. I'm crazy. I'm free. They can't- they can't stop me. They can't tell me no. Maybe I just go off the rails and off the script and and it's- uh, that's just how it is now. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. We will certainly find out though. Uh, I hope you're all doing well. I hope you're all having a great time of it. I- I'm- I'm doing pretty well myself in case you were wondering. I am going to start by drinking some water because Hydration is important, you know? We gotta we gotta stay on top of that hydration so that, I don't know, I can have bragging rights or something. One of those. One of those. Decided about the paper dot while I'm helping it. Yes, I know I talked about it a bit, but I really want to build this tunnel bore. Um, I have not. I, after stream yesterday, I proceeded to go to work for like 11 hours, so that was wild. Um, that was, that was a wild time. That was a that was a crazy time, and I've had no time to think about anything. Um, keep reminding me about it, though. Like I don't I don't mind you continuing to talk about it if it just reminds me to actually look at it every once in a while. But yo, we got knocked assault from Max. Big Octosloth enjoyers out here. In fact, um, I think I think I think Octosloth. You know, you, you feel me on that? You you see the vision? Do you do you, do you get it? Oh, Spinerx, thank you for the honk. Yeah, the goose takes another step, so um, that's cool. That that's much appreciated. Uh, yeah, I really need to get a honk counter. I really need to get a honk counter. Also, fix it with dollbot. Hey, dollbot fixes. We'd love to see it. We'd love to see it. Um, anyway, that is the end of the intro section. So let's go ahead and get going. We got to go on a car. Good luck. Also revealed it. One twenty is one is June seventh. Yeah, I saw that. Um, I'm big excited for for June seventh. But good luck with the car ride. Definition of, definition of goose. Any very uh, grazing waterfowl of the family and not today, which have feathers and webbed feet and are capable of flying, swimming, and walking on land, and which are bigger than ducks. Example, there's a flock of geese on the pond. 
me when there's a flock of geese on the pond, you know? And Casper, hi, welcome to the stream. Um, we are just getting into the game, so that's fun times. So let's talk about today's projects. Today's projects. Um, we just barely finished up with, uh, with adjusting the roof and um, doing some things with that. Let's take stock of what there is still to do. Okay, hello there. General Kenobi. Hi, it's good to see you. I hope you're doing well. I hope you are vibing and having a great time of it, in fact. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. That do kind of be how it be. Um, but yeah, so what there is still here to do is I need to figure out what I'm doing with these uh, with these top sections here. I need to do, um, figure out what I'm doing with the roof bits here. Um, and then also, you know, the, the terrain up above, I probably want to terraform that a little bit to make it a, a bit prettier. Um, probably got a three, uh, so seen American stuff. I mean, congrats. That is a passing grade. That grade certainly, certainly passes the test, uh, theoretically. Turns out I have a code from a doll bot during an event being outdated. By outdated, I mean they deleted channel, didn't really tell me, so the code was sending messages to the boy. Because PM2 restarted the bot, uh, to save everything on the joint event was stopped. Oh, bless. I had to present in English. Hey, d d still a C is a, a C is a passing grade, and that's all that I think really matters. There is that you passed, you, you passed the assignment. You you did it. I'm so proud of you. Uh, uh, C in German. D d still, you passed. D y you passed. A C is a passing grade. You then A or B in English. Oh, that's pretty good. Uh, that's that's pretty heckin' epic. That, that's pretty nice. Uh, but yeah, so things to do. This wall, this wall, the bits up here, the bits up there, and then also actually the floor. Um, because the floor is currently just a whole lot of smooth stone. And I would like it to be a little more interesting than that at some point. I don't quite know what that's going to look like though. Also, at some point, I think I want to move my smelters to a better location. I would like them to be maybe not right here, maybe sunk into the ground a bit further or organized differently. I don't know, that's a future Quimby issue though. That's 100% a future Quimby problem. Um, so I will deal with that when the time comes. Smooth floor, it really do kind of be a smooth floor though. But I don't like all the lines running across, so. And I, and I do want it to be pretty and interesting. Oh, and then also I need to cover up, uh, I, I need to figure out what I'm doing with the, um, with the little corner pieces there. I've got a little prototype right there. Um, but theoretically I'm going to do something with it. And then also something with the, with the struts across the top. Do we want to, do we want to try working with that just real quick? Um, I've got a bunch of iron bars that I think I could try placing up there to see if I like it future Quimby moment, uh, real and true. But hi, Mr. Malook, it's good to see you. I hope you are doing well today. Hope you are having a grand time. Yeah, I think let's just take a, let's just take a quick trip up to, um, let, let's take a quick trip up and stop it. Why, why would that be what I want? Why? Huh? Okay, it's fine. You teach us me, uh, was dem uh, in Ausland oder warum kannst du so gut English? Which means, why are you in a different country? Why can you speak English so good? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it sounds like you're kind of popping off with your English. Uh, sounds like, it sounds like your, your English is very good. Nice. Big proud of you for that. Congrats on good English moment. Okay, I think this is probably a good height to be at. Oh, no, it's not, actually. I need to be a little bit lower. Oh, but I, I need to be higher so that I can reach this, but then I won't be able to pass between these boundaries if I do that. Hmm, it's it's very tricky. That That's very tricky indeed. Um... Yeah, ich bin aus Deutschland. Ich habe uh, da English gelernt. Slash J. Mm, yes. Mm, yes. Yes, quite. Mm, yes. Me when I have learned the English. Um, but ye. 
Ye indeed. That is a, that is a certified ye moment. Okay, I mean I can probably reach. Yeah, I mean I, I can probably reach most of this from here. Uh, you know what? Let's just leave it as a test section and deal with um and deal with moving along later. So let's see. Let's see how we feel about this. Welp. It is nice to have something up there, but I'd probably want to bring the bars down a little bit to make it more clear that it's like taking strength from the pillars. And I might want to do like a line across here as well, so it's like crisscrossed. Which means I would have to anchor in somewhere over there. Never was in a different country. Nice, nice. Uh, wow, this is a little bit loud on the music. Hold up. Well, that's a bit quiet. Okay, let's try that. Let's try that. Um, remember it's in on, um, this works in on from everything. I feel like he's made something. Ooh, nice, 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 nice. Me when, me when making things, you know? Um, I've decided actually to make an executive decision that we are not working on doing this thing at the moment because sure it would probably be good to figure it out but I don't think I don't think I'm in a building mood at the moment I think I'm in an, in an explore and do other things mood so we're gonna go ahead and um and do some quick sillies namely I want to get some of my tools healed up um oh chat do we want to head out to the guardian farm I mean, I, I don't think I need, uh, I don't have anything bad enough that I, like, need the Guardian Farm for XP. But, I mean, it would be a cool little trip. Be a, a, a quick, a, a cool little, a cool little moment. I wish everything else you're making the whole spreadsheet. Oh, bless. Oh, yes, Guardian Farm, please. I mean, the Guardian Farm just sounds so cool. It just sounds raw good. Okay, um, what do I need? What do I need? I've got rockets. I've got my things. Um... Oh, this is this is kind of a random one, but I've just remembered that I need to name a frog Chattesty. So let's go ahead and grab a name tag for that, and we'll take a stop by the frog house as well. We're just gonna go on a nice little trip. Nice little trip to do some nice little things, and then we'll figure it out from there. Um, no, yeah, the, the, the guardian farm really makes such a nice little bonk. Makes a little bonk. If you've never experienced the Guardian Farm, then, um, uh, then the, oh, oh yeah, y you are in for a treat. Chastity, why does that feel like a deep cut? Um, Chastity hasn't been around for a hot second, so maybe that's what you're thinking of. Um, hasn't, hasn't been around for a bit. Alright, there we go, then that should have enough momentum to carry us to the frog house. And once we get to the frog house, we'll sleep, because sleep is very important. Um, especially in Minecraft, when things get really dangerous at night, so... Oh, but look at those stars, though. That's kind of nice. Minecraft stars are very pretty. I mean, they're, sure, they're just like a couple pixels, but... I don't know, I think they're kind of popping off. Whee! Oh, and there it is. There's our lovely little frog house. All right, let's let's just sneak in real quick. Um, I like this green frog. I think this green frog is gonna get named Bink. Okay, it has been named. The frog has been named. Um, I'm gonna take a quick sleep and then it is Guardian Tarm. Guardian Tarm Farm. Guardian Tarm Farm. Ugh, Guardian Farm time. Um, who is? Uh, like, first, like, 20 seconds out of the part I'm talking about. Okay, is it a rickroll? Okay, it's not a rickroll. Hold up, hold up. Let's, uh, hold, hold on, let's. Oh, goodness. Oh, wow, that is, that is a big. That, that is a big, big, uh, big tunnel bore. Wow. Okay. Hello there, Ray here today, guys. Wow. Okay. 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 That is a rather large. That's a that's a rather large tunnel bore. 
me when me when the tunnel bore is rather large. Just to be fair, it's a rather large tunnel bore. Um, yeah, I mean, I mean, thanks for sharing. Let's uh, let's do a, a quick hop, skip, and a jump over to the guardian farm. Um, I get the feeling I'm gonna need two rocket heights for this, so let's go ahead and. Yeah, just, just start with two rocket heights. Um, we're also going to play the fun game called I Don't Remember Exactly Where the Guardian Farm Is Still. So we are going to just simply wing it. <laughs> wing it. Get it? Because, uh... Because cause Elytra. Get it? It's a specialized tunnel bore, though. Ah, for the nether. That's, a, that's a nether moment. Nether moment real and true. Whee! I, I love I, I, I love the 45 degree flying thing. It's so fun. It's so fun. You just you just big zoomies, you know? You just go, wow, big zoomies. Mine is a lot more basic. Fair enough. Fair enough. We can't all have giant specialized tunnel bores. If we all had giant specialized tunnel bores, then um then n none of them would be special, and that would be very sad. So I'm glad there's variety in tunnel bores. Alright, let's play the game. Where is my guardian farm? I'm sure I'll find it. I'm, I'm sure... I'm, I'm sure it'll be somewhere. I'm sure it's somewhere this way. I'm pretty sure that it's, that it's somewhere this way. Um, oh, 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 oh. It, oh. This is looking familiar, but I don't think it's actually quite it. Um, maybe we're getting close. Uh, um, uh, 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 um, uh. Hold, hold on, let me check cords. Oh, 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 thank goodness, okay. Um, uh, is there any way I'm gonna have enough height to make it up to there? Nah. No way. Alright, let's just... Did I remember to close the trapdoor this time? Or open the trapdoor? Please tell me I remember to open the trapdoor. I don't think I remember to open the trapdoor. This is about to get very awkward. Also, the nether roof is the best place for tunnel boards. Because there's nothing. I think no lava pockets. Mmm. And farther than there are very few. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. I see. Makes sense, in fact. Makes very much so sense. Oh, look at all the... Look at all the guardians over there getting caught in the guardian farm. That's so nice. So proud of them. Way to go, king. The big, big proud of you right now. And... <gasps> I did remember to open it! Ooh, okay. So, a uh, quick plug. But when this guardian farm was designed by enx 4 on YouTube, um... Very, very cool guy. Makes so many awesome things. Um, definitely would recommend checking him out if you can. Uh, let's just take a second make sure the old inventory is not going to cause any problems. Um, except actually I need... Yeah, like that. Okay. Now ready? Okay, chat, are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? I don't think you're ready for this. Ready? <laughs> Listen to that bonk! Listen to that absolute bonk! Such a... Such bonk vibes, you know? Um, okay, well I don't have anything else on me that needs to get uh, healed up at this point. So let's go ahead and pull out the old... Uh, the old toolbox. And see if that's got... Not the bed. The old toolbox and see if that's got anything for us. Doop and a doop and a doop and a doop. Um, yeah, I guess Mia needs, um, Mia needs some mending. So let's just snatch that, uh, throw a couple things. Right, ready? Three, two, one, and... Oh, wait, wait, missed. <laughs> Listen to that bonk. Listen to that bonk. Such a good bonk. Um, wow, I, uh... 
Um, hang, uh, hang on. Uh, do I have anything else that needs to get healed up? I still have a bit of, um, yep. Oh, hello. Ah. And then there's like, I was like, hello, friend guardian. Um, but it's fine. Wow, I'm still collecting. Okay, I, I was gonna say I'm still collecting XP, but it's fine. It's over now. Um, neither of these have mending. Oh, my, my skizzies have mending. They don't need that much health, but you know what? It maybe maybe it's worth it for just like having having something to uh to 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 put out. Boop 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 boop. All right, all right, friend. Hi, hello, hello. Wait, you made a garden farm since when? Um, I think I made this a couple of months ago. It was, um, it was a day when I had, I, I think like a later call time than usual. So I was able to do a longer stream and I decided, heck it, I'm building a guardian farm. Um, oh wait, oh, you want me to hydrate? Okay, I'll drink some water. All right, liquid has been consumed. Thank you for the, um, thank you for the reminder. Ah, I just dropped my water bottle, it's fine. Um, anyways, ready, three, two, one, and... Bonk! <laughs> oh my goodness, the sounds that they make. The sounds that they make, they're... They're so good. Um, yeah, that only needed a little tiny baby bit of XP, so, uh... So there's that. Anyway, um... Anyway... I have to activate the tumble with note block and I was like, oh why don't I just add the delay on to, to make it automatic? Delays for TNT explosions. The TNT takes four seconds to explode and a server set a delay of one tick each, twenty takes per second, so unless I want to strap eighty, I think observers onto the tunnel board, it's not possible to my knowledge. Oh goodness. Goodness. When it was time your pea brain was able to make something this complex. Did you drain the monument? I did not drain the monument. Um you don't need to for this also I did design this by the way. Um I, I did not design this this build. This is an ENX04, uh, who is an incredible, uh, an, an incredible build maker, um, and definitely worth checking out if you haven't already. Um, I mean, I guess Smooth as Butter needs a little, needs a, a little baby bit of, um, needs a little little baby bit of XP. Um, but yeah, no, I did not drain the monument. I I could. I just kind of didn't want to at that time. And you don't really need to actually for this because the only um, because the only section that's within loaded chunks is this little bit right here that I have uh, that I have my contraption set on, so guardians aren't really spawning in the monument. Ready, three, two, one, and boom! <laughs> Could be me. Well, well, listen, I like this farm. I think it's cool. Not farms. Hey, I mean, I figure, th th why, why, why have it be very painful for me when I could just, you know, have someone else who's very good at this make the things, right? Like, like maybe someday if I get good, I'll want to design my own farms. But at the moment, I don't really see any a special need to, cause, uh, cause I, I don't know. I think, I think I'm, I, I'm, I'm content with my care. Um, if cave fish farms don't work anymore, you should get the fish itself to no treasures. Mm, rip. Big rip there. Imagine, imagine not getting the treasures. Oh, I need to add a cod section here, probably. And also a, an, an extras pickup. I mean, it's probably fine. It's probably fine. Oh, and I picked up some crystals from somewhere. That's fine. They can just go into here. Um, I'm very proud of you. Plus 100 proudness. Hey! I'm glad to hear you're proud of me. I'm I'm actually honestly a bit proud of me too for for actually building something. I think that's that's the craziest part of all of this is me actually like going through with building something instead of um instead of just not building it. If that makes any sense. Um. So, so very, very proud of that for me. I want this one. So yeah, we're just doing a quick little, quick little checkup on the chest storage health. Um, it looks like things are mostly going pretty well. So I don't really think I have much to complain about here. A reminder to open chapter. I'll see you guys, Thank you, thank you for the reminder. I totally would have forgotten. 
Um, it's getting on towards nighttime, so we'll probably sleep and then head out from here. Okay, so here's the deal, chat. Here's the deal. I don't want to go on any big explorers until 120 hits. Because, you know, I don't want to ruin my chances of finding armor trims and stuff. But I also kind of want to go on a coal mining expedition. Because you know how I'm always in need of coal. I'm, I'm very much so always in need of coal. So, um... So I think it would be pretty cool, in fact, to... Uh, to go find some coal. Maybe. Oh, thanks for the like, Penny. Appreciate that. Let's go ahead, snatch those things. Um, so yeah, maybe we just go... Maybe we just go for a little explore. Looks like it's time for loaded chunks. I know, right? I'm like, ooh, all of the chunks I've already loaded? Don't mind if I do. Don't mind if I do. Ha 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 ha. That's my nice. Maybe you should make a kelp farm. Great fuel source. Uh, honestly, I'm not opposed to the idea. Um, I also, I, I'm like the one person who uses dried kelp in builds. Um, so, you know, it might be nice to have a good supply of that. Here, let's just land on this little, um, this little mesa bit right here and take a look out. Oh, there's a decent amount of coal here. Um, this would be the spot for gold, especially if I was, if I was into the gold meta right now, because maces are great for finding gold, actually, fun little fact. That's the shortest and not quite strangest discord call I've been in so far. Congrats. I'm, I'm glad you, ex I'm glad you experienced. I'm, I, yep. Experiencing is pretty neat. So, so congrats for that. Amethyst, hi! Hi, hi, hi! Welcome to some things, but have you tabbed up? Aw, nice. Thank you for, I don't know, hanging around. It's good to see you. I hope whatever it is you're doing is going well for you. I'm out on a little mining expedition because... I don't know. I'm a I'm a mining enjoyer. I enjoy the crafting, but I also really enjoy the mining. Uh, comes with a relatively cheap design on my friend's server, and you can add a bone meal system. Ooh, ooh. Uh, very very tempted by that actually. I do enjoy a good a, a good easy system. That is uh that, that, that is pretty neat. I'm also going to start seeing that my points can join the CSMP server. Ooh. The CSMP is pretty is pretty rock and rad. Um, I don't have a ton of time to be on it myself, but there's some people who on there who make some very cool things. Like um, like Chadcat is just constantly popping off on on the CSMP, like consistently. Kind of kind of jealous at how much she pops off on the CSMP. Um, she's very good at it. What up? Sadly, I've not been on the CSMP in a while. I mean, yeah, it's just a, it's just sort of a casual thing. There's no like, there's no pressure to be like, oh, you're not, you're not participating in the CSMP. No, it's just like a, a chill space for when you want to go on. Um, I mean, I should probably be wearing my um shield or in chest plate for this, but I'm not really underground at all yet. This is a very above ground space, and I kind of feel like it's nice to have the elytra for easy. Um, for easy access to other things. See, this is an underground space. I would want my chest plate for there. And in fact, I am going to take a quick little hop, skip, and a jump in. So, chest plate time. Yes, I need to build a giant railgun. I mean, I think it's your only choice. Okay, can I pay for amethyst? Uh, for amethyst CSMP ticket? Um, ah, this is actually a question I've answered before. Um, everyone has to get their own CSMP ticket. It's it's non-transferable. Boop. Yeah. Bow and arrow time! Bow and arrow time! I know it would be cool, but I just, I don't know. I, I like it being a, a a measurement of, you know, of, of time and investment. Whoop, okay. Got him. I'm always, uh, I'm always just a little a copper. A, just a little bit obsessed with collecting, um, gunpowder. Because, you know, you never know when you need gunpowder. On transfer one's channel points. I think if you do gambling, um, that is a way to do it. But we reserve gambling for special occasions around here. So, you know, you'd have to wait for a special occasion to come up to do gambling. Boop 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 boop. 
Um, you good with code? No, no. I have no clue how coding works. Um, it, it's, it's, I would say it's all Greek to me, but I actually think Greek would make more sense to me than, um, than coding does. So, uh, so that's, that's a bit awkward. Quimby endorses gambling? No, Cyborg endorses gambling is the thing. Cyborg endorses gambling, and he's the one who's always like, haha, let's do gambling, and I say, Cyborg! Cyborg, stop! So, I mean, I guess you could wait for, um, I, I guess you could wait for Cyborg to come back. Uh, I think my class is so I learned a bare minimum. Bless. Yeah, I never even took a coding class. Can confirm Cyborg endorses gambling. Cyborg endorses gambling, and it stresses me out so much. Um, he... He'll just like I'll, I'll just look over and he's started a gambling thing, and uh, and I'm like cyborg why why are we gambling and it's stuff like will Quimby die today, and and I'm like stop stop I'm not gonna die. He's very silly. We should have a vote for gambling. Well, jokes on you. This isn't a democracy. This is a uh, um hmm. Trying, oh, oh, what's a what's, what's a good word for what's a good word for what this is a a, a, a dictatorship? No, um, a a a, a one party regime, and it's me. I'm the party. Um, hmm, hmm. I hope we want democracy. We wait. Heck, <laughs> see, see the. Do you see the fallacy in your in your system? One favor, say pi. I mean, it's. You're welcome to vote. It's not gonna do anything, but you are welcome to vote, I guess. Like, I, I guess I can't stop you from voting. Well, I could. I could time you all out, but that would be sad. I, don't, I wouldn't want to do that. I can't stop you from voting, but I can tell you that the, 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 the vote is not going to have any effect. Hi, I'm the party. It's me. That's, that's exactly what I said. And that is exactly what I said, and I'll take no questions about it. Um, I do not want cobblestone. Cobblestone is not not a friend right now. Sometimes cobblestone is a friend, admittedly. I will freely admit that there are occasions that cobblestone is a friend. This is not one of them. Cobblestone is an intruder. A, uh, a, an, an ingrate who, d who doesn't know what's good for it. Um, people of revolution... Uh, that would be, I, I mean, the, the thing about revolutions is you need to have some way to obtain power, whether it's, like, uh, whether it's, like, diplomacy or, um, or, like, violent revolution or something, but you, you need to have some way to, like, exert power, and I just don't think Twitch chats are really built for that unless you have a mod on your side, and again, as I mentioned, the mod who, um, who may be on your side is not currently available, so... I think you. I think you may be a bit out of luck with that. When will you learn that your voting has no consequences? Quit me alert twenty twenty three. That's what I say. That is. That's exactly why I said. Exactly how I said it. Boop, 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 boop. I'm done the Twitch mods. Um, I've got two. I've I've got two. I've got um, I've got Cyborg and Dell and. Uh, Cyborg is currently not available, and Dell is, um, also, also not available doing cool, like, Dell is probably doing, like, cool coder job work stuff. Um, he's pretty epic, uh, but is also very busy, so, you know, doesn't really have a lot of time for things. Oh, I get started. I, I, I don't, I don't think it's happening. We have an AI ready to become sentient outside. Are, are, are you saying are, are, are you talking about me because I don't, I don't I don't think that I don't think that's very accurate I don't think that's an, 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 an at all accurate explanation of what's going on here I don't think that um, I don't think that fits personally personally I don't I don't think that um, I don't think that matches at all what's happening I'm really sorry I'm sure crumble no dollbot. Oh, okay, dollbot. No dollbot's fine. Me and dollbot are homies. Me and dollbot are we're 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 good. 
I gotta say, okay, listen, l listen, I, I, I'm on I only bring this up because I'm actually a little bit proud of it. Um, have you been seeing the Elytra parkour I've been doing uh, to traverse this area? Um, have you guys noticed that? Because, um, because I, uh, I, I'm a little bit proud of it, actually. We've been seeing it. Did, did you see that? Um, did you, I'm, I'm particularly proud of that one that I did just right over here with the, with the, with the jump ups and then and then the um and and then the elytra around the corner uh that that's all i'm gonna say about that i'm very impressed thank you thank you i'm i'm very proud of it so you know the dog tried to sit like a human people i love when dogs do that i love when dogs are like hey i'm a i'm a sit like a person um but yes silly puppy silly dog you are you are a dog not a person the dog's like, but I sit like a person, so therefore, I should be. I I, I am I am a person. Um, there's some other cold stuff on some of these other pillars, but it is getting on towards nighttime, so I'm gonna scooch on over to here. <laughs> I'm going to sleep on this little outcropping. Um. So a dog? Oh, uh, a mammal, Canis familiaris, or Canis lupus familiaris, that has been domesticated for thousands of years of highly variable appearance due to human breeding. Nice. That, that's a dog moment. No, dog moment. Me when, me when dogs, am I right? Ooh, coal. I know I'm, I know I'm currently on this trip to find coal, but that doesn't stop me from being surprised when I actually find it. And let's just yeet the cobblestone again. No need for it. We are going to scooch down to here, though, because I am legally obligated to pick up all copper that I find. So, uh, so yep, picking up copper is a must. There's no question about it. Um, how am I doing inventory-wise? I should probably, I should probably put my crafting table pretty soon. Imagine telling your dog, silly dog, you're not human people, you're a dog. And your dog makes eye contact and says, no you. I would... I don't... I don't know that I'd be able to disagree at that point. Listen, if if that happened to me, I would just... I would just say, yep, understandable, have a great day. And then probably go evaluate all of my life choices. Um, and cry. Evaluate my life choices and cry at that point. This is way too enjoyable. Oh, the defining things? Oh, 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 I forgot to read the definition of copper. Um, um, a reddish brown, malleable, ductile, metallic element with high electrical and thermal conductivity, symbol CU, and atomic number 29. No example provided. Hmm. Define, define. A kind of macro. Uh, oh, a kind of macro and source code that replaces one text stream with another whenever it occurs. What? Uh, uh, um, is that, is that the definition of define? I, I, I mean, I think that's, that, that's, that, that, that's gotta be a coding definition, right? That, that's gotta be a, a coding moment. Uh, I have defined, defined definitively. I'm not gonna argue with you on that one, because I think you definitely did. I think you definitely did define define definitively in some unexpected ways, but um, but admittedly it was defined. Okay, listen. Did did you see that? Did, did you see that uh, the uh, elytra to get out of the one block space? I'm just saying, I'm popping off a little bit. It it it, it may not be the most anyone's ever popped off. I'm popping off a little bit. You gotta admit. Define uh, disestablishmentarianism. Oh, it doesn't like that one. Um, oh, wait. Oh, wait, uh. uh define. Did you spell it wrong? Okay. Anti disestablishmentarianism. Did you spell it wrong? Um. Did, oh, yeah, yeah, you said sim instead of ism. Got it. Um, can't spell last one in front. Okay, okay. De uh, definition of anti disestablishmentarianism. A political philosophy opposed to the separation of a religious group, church, and a government state, especially the belief held by those in 19th century England, opposed to separating the Anglican Church from the civil government to refer to a separation of church and state. Example, no example provided. Nice. Uh, defenestration doesn't have, an, doesn't have an eye that early. You did symbolize him. Got it, got it. 
Yep, defenestration. There we go. The act of throwing someone or something or someone out of a window. There, yep, there we go. Ooh, uh, pneumono ultra microscopic silicobo silico noiosis. Okay, definition of uh, um, pneumono ultra microscopic silico volcano uh, volcano coniosis. A disease of the lungs allegedly caused by inhaling microscopic silicate particles originating from eruption of a volcano. If it's pronouncing big words ours, I can play. I, I can play pronouncing big words ours. That is something that I am more than capable of doing. I will do it. Um, I'm confused how, uh, how to pronounce it to it. I can, I, I can do big word pronounce ours. I can do it. Do you not do you not trust me to be able to know how to do big word pronounce? Because I can I can do big word pronounce. Definition of word: the smallest unit of language that has a particular meaning and can be expressed by itself. The smallest discrete meaningful unit of, unit of a language. Uh, contrast morpheme. Um, yeah, makes sense. Makes sense. Makes sense for sure. Makes sense. Um, okay, I kind of want to hop into this. Um, into this mine shaft real quick. So we're gonna go on a little mine shaft adventure. Ah! The mine shaft is a little bit taller than me. Ah! That's cool. Um. Boop. Okay. Uh. Well. Um. The. The, the spawner has been contained. Great work, everyone. Great work. It has been contained. From Petricor, a uh, distinctive scent caused uh, by uh, Geosmin, which accompanies the first rain after a long, after a long warm, dry spell. Gotcha. My ISP wondering why I'm so interested in api.dictionary.dictionary.api.dev. Uh, dictionary Bless. Find Arcosaur, uh, a reptile of the taxon Orcosaria, which includes the extinct dinosaurs, pliosaurs, pterosaurs, and ichthyosaurs, and modern crocodiles and birds. Yeah, did you know that birds are, um, did you know that birds are reptiles? Chat, did you, did you know this thing? Were you, were you made aware that, that birds are reptiles? Were you aware? Did anyone tell you? Has, has anyone let you know that, uh, that, that birds are reptiles? Yeah, we're grabbing the elytra and going on another little adventure here. Yes, I'm so proud of Columbia. Yeah, birds do do kind of be reptiles, though. Um, I think that's so neat. That's so valid of them, to be honest. Like, if I was a bird, I'd probably be a reptile. It just makes sense. Um, we're gonna hop over to that area there and see if we can find any exposed coal. Because that's kind of what we're on about at the moment. I got him. If I were bird, I would be an owl. You know, fair and reasonable. I want to be anyway. Yeah, I think we're assuming for um, for this case at least that uh, that that you get to choose. Um, yeah. Find a synapsid. Any animal, including all mammals of the uh, of the class Synapsida. No example provided. Me when no example is provided. Coal gathering. You know, it's funny because I'm gonna do I'm I'm gonna do what feels like a lot of coal gathering. I'm gonna be like, wow, I gathered so much coal, and then it's gonna be like minuscule compared to the amount of coal that I actually need. Which is just how it goes sometimes, you know? And that's that's just kinda how it be. Particularly around here. Oh wait, looks like I've already picked up some things from here, so that's not an area that I need to explore any further. Let me just slip into the water if that's all right with you. Okay, proto mammals. Mmm. Oh, what's the what's the um? There's a uh, there's a family of mammals that I really like, and I'm trying to remember what it's called. Um, it includes binturongs, and I think they're so neat because they just look like it just looks like such an old like they they don't make mammal they don't make animals like that anymore. Hold on. Let me, um, let me internet this really fast. Okay, uh, Binter. Um, uh, the 
Viverde. Viverde, that's what it is. Miss Jody, hi. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome on into the stream. Um, we are talking about we're talking about uh, like old uh, animals and stuff. Um, uh, I'm currently talking about Viverde um, because Viverde is so cool. It's such a it's such a cool. Actually, let me see if I can find some pictures of Viverde to to show you guys. And words, yeah, animals and words. Um, I'll get back to gaming in just a moment. Um, but it's uh, it's lovely to meet you. I hope you're doing well. Um, yeah, Viverde is what we're looking for. Let me just, um, can I get a good, can I get a good image of the family? Oh, that's a good one. Yeah, okay, 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 um, give me two seconds. Uh, do I have an image source up around somewhere? Um, do I have that one? Oh yeah, we're also finding out what everyone's name defines too. Um, cause, because we're just a little silly sometimes. Okay, let's do this. Um, let's see, I should have it on just the desktop. Should just be, what, what is it? It starts with this, uh, okay. Uh, there we go, that should be it. Okay, alright, chat, I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you guys, um, oh wow, that image is gigantic. Um. Fine, irregardless. Prehistoric Planet was on one Apple TV. Oh yeah, me too. I would I would watch the heck out of Prehistoric Planet. Um Definition of irregardless. Sometimes humorous. Irrespective, regardless. Gotcha. Alright, uh so these are Viverde. And aren't they so cool? Like look at these things. They do not they they do not look they don't make mammals like that anymore. You you don't make mammals like that anymore. Um like man, they're so cool. They're so cool. Like, I don't know. I'm these 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 animals are all real. Like today, these are non-extinct animals. Don't they were bear, cat, fox looking boys. Exactly. They look edible. I, I mean, yeah, they they probably are to be honest. Um, but all of these animals are alive today, and don't they just look absolutely prehistoric? Don't they look like the kind of thing that you'd see in, in like I don't know, paintings of of pre-civilization humans what even happen to animals these days how do they get so different i know right isn't it so crazy isn't it so crazy how animals are just they're just there's just so many of them and they're so different and interesting and wild and cool um but yeah so i'm a big viverde fan i'm a i'm a huge viverde enjoyer evolution is wild it really is animals really be like hmm there's a niche here that needs to be filled let me change to fill this niche and then have that be how I am. Like they're they're just wild and absolutely wild and um I'm currently out on a little journey because I got bored. Um it's sort of a coal gathering expedition because I um I know I need a lot of coal for many different things. But it's also a copper gathering expedition because I am legally obligated to pick up all copper that I find due to um, due to some choices that I have made in my life. Um, I found a way to automate the tunnel bore. Hey, hey, congrats! Hey, way to go! Oop, this is a torches moment. Let's just uh, ooh, lava. That's fun. I'm glad lava exists. The placing button that says do not press, especially you agree in. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness gracious. Prob probably. I can use XD, uh, X2 tool to create a mac macro script angle the camera just right to keep hitting the note block. Mmm. So, 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 so thinking outside the box, I see. This is so pretty. Look at this. Look at this over here. Um. A nerd. Uh, oh, oh, gosh. Um. A Neurognathus would be a great pet everyone would want. Which one is that? Do you have an explanation? Ah! I forgot I wasn't wearing my elytra. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Um, thinking outside the game. <laughs> thinking inside the .sh file. See, I would argue it's thinking outside the game because it's not, um, it's not as originally intended. It's not, like, it's not an intended function of the game. 
that's you're, you're not you're not dealing with gameplay it's not a, it's not an in-game mechanic you're dealing with outside forces to um to make things happen in the game thinking outside the flocks Ooh, i like that actually i understand when you see a picture of its face or at least the reconstruction all right i'll look it up i will i will i'll look it up sure i'll i'll, I'll throw you a bone here anagonathus <gasps> oh it's just a little guy oh it's just a little guy Oh, it's just a little guy. Okay, wait, chat, hold on. I gotta, I gotta pull up the image for you guys as well. Um, little guy, big eyes. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. There we are. Um, what's a good, what's a, what's a little guy? What's a good little guy? What's a good little guy to show? This is a good little guy to show. Okay, hold up. Give me two seconds to um to figure this out. Doop, doop, doop. Uh, that should be it. Yep, there we go. All right, chat. Um, prepare to see a little guy. Boom, little guy. Um, that guess has me convinced that Rex is right. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Look at this little guy. Look at just look at just this funky little guy. It's so, it, it's so shaped. It's, it's, it goes, ah! Ah! Um, it is a block in the process, which is a note block. Well, but still, though. Still, though, Penny. Um, oh my goodness. Uh, my wife Sally would love him. Yes. Oh my gosh. Sally would absolutely love this little guy. You're, you're so right. You're so right. These are going to the art of really, really dead things. Really, really dead things do kind of pop off, admittedly. Like, I will... I think I think that's just fair and reasonable that really, really dead things... Um, they're so cool. Do you want a new or a bat? Yes. I... Yeah, yeah, yeah. That... I mean, what else could you want? What else could you want other than a new bat thing? I think that is... That's exactly what I want. Always. Oh, that's a horse! I thought it was just like a random block of something and I was like, what is that? What is that? It was a horse. <laughs> it was just a horse. False alarm, everyone. I was about to be like, here, O'Brien! But, um... Uh, a horse, of course. A horse is a horse, of course, of course. That's, that's kind of how it goes. That do, that do kind of be... That do kind of be how it goes around here. If, if you know what I'm saying. Um... Chat, should I should I find something productive to do, or are we vibing with just uh, with just silly, goofy? I run around and do silly little things, and we talk about really dead stuff. That sounds good to you all, cause I, I I could get back to the great hall and you know and actually do some work if if we want to do some building, or we could just keep doing this. Oh, but look at all this coal and some copper too. I am I am legally obligated to pick up copper, like. I, w I will get absolutely yeeted by the cube if I do not. Um, the, the, the cube will just say no, and then I will die. So I, I mean, I think at the very, very least, at the very least, I need to, I need to, you know, finish, finish up over here. I need to, uh, uh what, what, what's the words I'm looking for? Um, I, I don't know. Cover loose ends, maybe? That's that's probably what it is. That's probably what it is. So, chat, let's actually also talk a little bit about the next phase of the cube. Um, because, so... The, 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 way, the way I've kind of been doing it in the past is that occasionally I just do, like, a big, huge mining trip uh, to get a bunch of copper for the cube. Um... And that, that can be fun, but it also tends to burn me out from Minecraft for a bit, and then I need to, like, switch to another game for a month or two uh, to be able to come back and do it. Um, and I kind of feel like that's not a great sustainable model. So I think what we should do is uh, just little things like what I'm doing right now, where if I, if I find copper, I mine it. If I happen to run across a giant dripstone cave, maybe I'll, I'll excavate it, but I don't, like... 
I don't know. Maybe I don't do huge multiple like week long um, mining trips. And maybe it's just like, ah, yes, I'll do this and then come back later. Um, and sure, it'll slow production on the cube a little bit. But I mean, I would argue it also slows production on the cube for me to not play Minecraft because I've been mining too much. You know? But we are getting we are getting to the point in the cube when um when it's uh it's getting to be quite intimidatingly large actually. We're almost I, I think we're past the halfway point, and the thing is just it's just gigantic. Do we spin facts though? That's me. That's what I do. I say pachoo pachoo. Facts. I, I I spit on you, or rather, I spit you. Let me think about that one. Let me uh, let me get back to you on that whole spitting facts thing. Okay, it's chest plate time. And of course, also you know, uh, I do tend to majorly run out of coal and stuff with the with the big mining trips like that. Like, I I do enjoy a good days long smelting session to deal with the five shulker boxes of copper blocks that I have. Um, but you know, you know. It, it does tend to eat up resources, and me as a resource gremlin, I go, ha! Ah! Where, where are all my resources going? Ha! Ah! Um, ye, ye. Uh, I think yeah. Actually, I, I do think, I do think it might be base time again after this. That or like silly project, cause, um. Because I've, I've gotten a decent amount of coal. You know, I've got like an extra stack of blocks. And that's, um, that that's usually pretty good. Uh, so maybe, oh no, I've, I've, oh, I've, I've immediately made it worse for myself to get back up. <laughs> okay, managed it. Um, yeah, I think we go back to the base. We take a little look-see around and then, um, and find a project to work on. Have I already raided this village over here? Is this... Yeah, okay, I think I raided this village, like, just the other day. What would happen if I shot that villager and then ran away? Do you think the Iron Golems would still get mad at me? Nope, 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 None of that. None of that, none of that, none of that. Chad, do you ever just have thoughts that you know are gonna get you killed? Do you, ever, do you ever just know you're going to die if you follow through with whatever it is you're thinking? Because um, I've never had that experience because I am a, I'm a responsible hardcore player who would never, ever, ever uh, get, get so distracted by being silly and goofy that I would put myself in danger. So if you were worried about that, you don't have to be because I would never... I would, I would never, not once ever do that. Um, let's head back to base. Let's head back to base. Woo! There's my guardian farm again. I never, no, I would never do that. It's, it's really just so silly that you would accuse me of that because I would never do it. I would just absolutely never, ever, ever make it happen. Not once ever. Okay, chat. Let's let, let, let's let, let's find something to talk about while I have this this little trip going on. Um, we we mentioned earlier about birds being reptiles. Um, if you had to be a bird. Which bird would you be, and also would you, would you uh, become a bird reptile mutant so that people knew that you were a, a reptile? I think if I were to be a bird, um, I think it'd be kind of epic to be like a vulture. I think it'd be kind of epic to be just like a big, massive vulture. Corvids have a side to them. Corvids are so cool, admittedly. Like, being a magpie would be kind of epic. They're way too smart. They have so many brain cells. And for and for what? 
What for what reason do they have so many brain cells? They I'm I'm like where where are they doing with all of those thoughts? What what are they doing, please? My guys are the best. They're really good. Um they're just they're just funky little birds doing their funky little thing. With like their and their feathers are so pretty. So lovely. But I know I do I do kinda still think it would be cool to be a vulture. Um just a, just a huge, gigantic vulture, I think, would be so cool. If only they had thumbs. If they had thumbs, it would be too powerful. I refuse to entertain the idea of them having thumbs. If they had, if they had thumbs, we would all be in danger. I'd be a crow, so I could be part of a murder illegally. Ayyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyy
I think it might be getting on towards nighttime or a thunderstorm or something, so I'm just gonna sleep. Like, what, what, what do they mean by a shrewdness of apes? Does anyone by any chance know how to hold down shift with uh, X2 tool? I have no clue. I have absolutely no clue. So let's talk. Let's talk what's up next. Um, let, let's talk our next projects. Um, I think I have decided that I want to replace this room with an axolotl aquarium. I don't want to do it now because I don't want to look at the lava farm anymore because I hate it. Um, but uh, I do want that to be an axolotl aquarium. Oh, you know what we could do? We could deal with this guy over here. Our little snitch. Let's, uh, let's just take a quick look. You had long enough to think about it? Hmm, I see, I see. Well, if you're if you're uh if if you're ready to 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 rejoin the rest of them, the re the rest of like I don't know where I'm going with that. If you're ready to finally be a productive member of society, I'll see what we can do. I'll see what we can do. Okay, let's um Let's figure this out. Uh, let's do this. What do I want this village to be? I, I kind of want... Honestly, I, I kind of want an, I, I kind of want a fisherman. So let's, let's... Let's do this. Did I find it? Look away. This villager has some guts. I know, right? What a... What a nerd. What, what an absolute nerd. I need some cod. Hold on. Let me just uh, sneak right under there. All right, let's see what you got. All right, go ahead. Attach to a barrel. Go ahead. They're right there. Go ahead. The barrels are right there. Nope, you're not getting out of this without my say-so. You're not getting out of this without my say-so. Where you said before, what some tools are the differences between key press and key down events. Where press uh, goes down and up, where down holds it down and this key up is called. Oh, goodness. Do we need a fresh barrel? Maybe I need a fresh barrel for this guy. I can accommodate. I, I, I can work with it. Listen, listen. Uh, this isn't a- it, it's not a punishment. I'm not- I'm not trying to be cruel and, you know, uh, create a situation where this guy can't, um, can't operate. I just- I just know what I need, and what I need is a fisherman. It makes sense if you think about it. Um, yeah, and then let's just do... Boop, 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 boop and a boop. And a boop boop. All right, let's try this one more time. You want some accents those barrels? He they she. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right, all right, all right. Let's try this again. Hello. You want to meet Mr. Zombie Man so bad, huh? You want you're a you're a zombie man enjoyer, I see. All right, well we'll get you back in. We'll get you back in, no problem. No problem. I've just got a couple things I need you to do first. Just got a couple things I need you to do first. The cut trade is first, right? I feel like... Okay. You know what? I'll take... I'll, I'll take that, I think. Let me, let me check fisherman trades. Let me, let me check fisherman trades. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Um, Fisherman Minecraft. What trade do you got, kid? What What are the possible trades? How do I know what you're going to be useful for? When is, when is the COD trade? When is the COD trade? When is the COD trade? Is that something I need to make sure to get first? Um, man, I should have gone into this a bit better prepared. Uh, 
Okay, uh, no, the cod trade is second. The coal trade is probably the best bet for- Ah! What did I just knock off? Oh. I have tape on my desk, like a tape dispenser on my desk. Um, and I just knocked it off. But it's fine. But it's fine. It's all fine and normal and okay. Um, let's go ahead and get this locked in. And let's go ahead and boat him up. Get in the boat. I don't think you quite understand me. I said, get in the boat. This is what you want, right? Your precious tool block? Good. Good. Cooperating will make this much easier on both you and me. Want a sense for a fallen tape friend? Yeah, rip to the tape. It did make a full recovery and actually sustained no damage, but you know, big, big rip nonetheless. Now you mentioned earlier that you uh that you've had some time to become acquainted with Mr. Zombie Man over there. Well, let me let me tell you, um, you're about to get a lot closer. All right, I need some glass. I need some glass. Do I have any over here? Yes, that should do. All right. There's one. I also need some extra boats, but I can pick those up in a minute. Now, why don't you and Zombie Man become better friends? Let's leave them to it. Mr. Zombie Man knows how to get results. And the stuffer's minds can be broken. Change. I mean, change. Yeah. Oh yeah, you, you know that my that my greatest concern at this moment in time is for the um is for the the health and well being of our esteemed guest. The um you know the Oh gosh, where do I keep magma cream? Over here? I mean what what kind of what kind of host would I be if I didn't um if I if I didn't introduce my guests to uh, the people living in my house. You know? Alright. Zombie man arms up in the air. Hey, buddy! Hey! Hey! Oh, man. Zombie man is so good at what he does. Zombie man is so good at what he does. Did you see that? Did you see that? That good, solid, just walk back into, uh, back into place. Man, Zombie Man really is the best of the best. Alright, excellently well done. Let's get this all sorted. Alright, kid. I'm glad you and Zombie Man were able to come to an agreement. I'll go ahead and let you sit here to think about it a bit more. Uh, you know, and let's let's get you a little something extra to convince you. I just realized that I don't think that I've that I have any splash potions of weakness on hand. This is fine. This is fine. This is fine. Um, th th this is this is fine. It's 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 fine. It's, to it's totally fine. It's totally 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 fine. It's totally fine and okay and not a problem. It's fine. So I don't have any brown mushrooms on hand. Uh, this is fine. This is fine. I'm moving up to keep getting punched. Yeah, it's just how it works for, um... Here, let's get Zombie Man reboated. It's just kind of how it works for, uh, for these sorts of operations. Alright, Zombie Man was in the other one this time. I like to change, uh, I like to give Zombie Man a, a nice change of surroundings, you know? A nice little, uh, a, a nice little new area to look at every once in a while. So, Zombie Man's gonna go ahead and sit over there, and I'm gonna go find a brown mushroom. 
Because, uh, yep. It is brown mushroom time. Um, it, it shouldn't be that hard. There should just be some over, um, over here. Zombie man deserves it. Zombie man really just is the best of the best, and I'm willing to I'm willing to do whatever I need to do to keep his services. Zombie man just, you know, just has the vibes, has the energy, has the control, the the self control, you know. Um, that guy takes like no sick days, no sick days, no time off, consistent excellent work. I mean, zombie man is just a great employee. Uh, I see no reason to uh, to not give him any accommodations he wants. Yeah, let's just grab like six. Because I know I'm going to need more eventually. I found the issue. Oh, the script is finishing the moment it crouches because it finish it, uh, it's finished. So it uncrouches. Mmm, gotcha. Above and beyond, no complaints. Yeah, big, big zombie man enjoyers. Big zombie man enjoyers out here. Alright, let's put um, most of these away. Unless- oh man, do I keep mushrooms over here actually? Okay, I keep red mushrooms over here, but I didn't have any brown mushrooms, so it's okay. It's okay because I actually didn't have any brown mushrooms. And then a little bit of sugar cane. Fermented spider eye. And then, hmm, don't have any more bottles here, so let's do this, let's do this, let's do this. I've got one emerald from when I locked in um, our, our new guest's trade, and that should be enough for four more glass, which will then give me two rounds of bottles. So it's great. It's fine. It's, it's totally fine. Um, then let's actually boop and a boop and a... Let's get this settled. I'm gonna, just gonna leave the extra bottles um, of water in the in, in my brewing box. Which really my brewing box should probably be a bit more accessible, but who cares? Um, I'm just gonna leave these in here for the next time I need some things. Oh, and I had an extra water bottle too. And two glass bottles. Wow, I really just did not need to do any of that. Wow. Wow, an incredible job. I've I've learned so many things um, about myself. Namely, that I should look at my materials better. Okay, well, um... Let's... Let's make this a splash potion of weakness. And that should be all I need to, um, to convince our guest of my side of things. So, while we're getting that done, I'm gonna go ahead and drink some water. Cause gotta stay hydrated. Okay, that should be it. All right. Hey, buddy! Hey! Liquid consumption? Exactly. Hey, how's it going? How you doing? Have you enjoyed your little chat with Zombie Man? Have you enjoyed your time around here? Yeah, oh, that's so good to hear. That's so good. Hey, it's Yenar Pro High! You've come just in time for me to, um, threaten this man. Missed me? Oh, yeah. Oh, absolutely. I hope you're doing well. Welcome on in. Um, but yeah. Oh, and congrats on being not first. I'm very proud of you for that. You know, not just anyone can be not first. Um. Hey, hey, hey. Can can I can I have you look at me while I talk to you? Yes. Good. So. Uh. Now that now that Mr. Zombie Man has uh has had a discussion with you. Whoa, whoa, feisty. Okay, okay. I see how it is. Uh, I wonder if you'd be willing to, um, to make some deals with me. Need, uh, need a little bit of help? Don't worry, I'll, I'll give you some time to think it over. I will give you some time to think it over for sure. 
All right, let's just, um, let's let our guest uh, think about their actions. Um, but yeah, St. Arbor, welcome on in. Um, yeah, uh, don't, don't mind me. Um, I, that, uh, I, our, our villager friend over there is just, you know, been very nosy lately, been, been watching everything that I do and listen, listen, listen. I'm just way too deep in this operation to let it be ruined by a simple, um, by a simple nosy neighbor, if you know what I mean. Oh, that does remind me, I need to, I need to get a spot ready for our friend. Uh, this one seems nice, I'll just put him directly across from, from the weaponsmith. This friend here, I'll look through faster. Still Minecraft friend, yes. I did not know that. Um, let's, let's give it a shot. Let's give it a shot. I'm going to sneeze. <coughs> got him. Got him. Big, big got him moment. Wow, that was, that was a got him moment. Um, okay, I need some, I need some bricks. Let's just let that guy do, do his thing. Oh, see you, thank you. Cause I'm tight. Oh, thanks guys. Yeah. It's, it was just a, it was just a sneeze moment, you know. Just just one of those moments when when sneezing was very necessary. Ah, not there. Boop and boop. Okay. So there's that. Um, we'll get that ready there, and then uh, we've got the. We're gonna have um, the barrel right here. I'm gonna just set up a nice little, some nice little side bits. So that should be that should be all ready for when our friend is ready to um, is is ready to enter the re the rehabilitation center. No Quimby is dying. All is lost. Um, oh man, you guys got me. I'm actually I'm, I'm actually about to perish right now. Oh, sorry guys. Whoa, whoa, that was um, that was a little, that was a little bit crazy. Sorry, just uh, j just like a, a, a blacked out for a second. Whoa, oh man. But anyways, I've been re I've been revived. I'm I'm no longer dead. So, <clears throat> so I I'm back. I'm back. I had a a hard uh, restart there, but you know we're we're back. I called dibs on the liver. Uh, I do think I, I do think I have a pretty nice liver actually. I do think my liver's um, pretty pretty nice, so I would understand why would you why you would want it. I I totally understand why that would be a thing you would be interested in. Oh my gosh, can this guy just vitrify already? Oh, oh, vociferate. That's what it is. Not vitrify, vociferate. Hey, buddy. Hey, welcome back. It's so good to see you. It's so good to see you. It looks like you're feeling better. Uh, let's go ahead and just see um, how you're gonna respond to this. Cause here's the big question. Yes, cod trade. That's what we're looking for. All right, all right. Um, you know it's been a pleasure doing business with you. Um, and you you look a little tired. You look a little. A little sad. Is there, is there anything I can do for you? Um, let me... You know, we've got a nice place downstairs. Uh, the, the VIP experience. You'll be able to... Um, to connect with some other people who've been through similar experiences. And, uh, and you know, rest, recover. It'll be, it'll be really nice, you know. Uh, I've, I've never heard a single complaint from any of our other residents. So I'm sure you'll have a great time here. That program is using today is quite the attention to detail. Oh, which AI? What 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 AI does that? Which um which which AI which AI does that? Ha 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 ha! protected. We probably saw some noise. Like, hear my last message. Uh, um. A anyway, oh, the highest quality it was allowed. Uh, uh. Wow. Um. 
Anyway, uh, this will be where we'll have you staying for the time being. I hope it'll be to your liking. Let's get you out of that boat. There we go. All right, well, um, let me just, oh, let, let me get this arranged a bit nicer for you. Pardon me, excuse me, excuse me. Here, can I get you to, can I get you to switch me a bit? You, you go a little further that way, I, yeah, like that. There we go, there we go. Let's get your tool block all set up nicely for you. There you go. Wonderful job, wonderful job. So happy to have you here. Nothing from me? Okay. Sure, I, uh, I guess I, I, I guess I, I trust that you guys wouldn't be, um, talking about anything that I, uh, I would need to know about, so. Yeah, all, all good there. And the salmon trade, too. Nice. That, that's very nice here. I'm gonna go grab some more cod. Um, I wanna get, I wanna get these cod trades going. We might make another quick stop by... Like, if, the, if this isn't enough cod, we might make a quick stop by the guardian farm again um, to pick up some more cod for trading. Hello. Boop. Okay, that should... That should do it somewhat. And, yep. Oh, hey, I'm breaking one fishing rod. Oh, and um, tropical fish to emeralds as well. That's nice. The tune up to the end of the Bill Nye and the Science Guy theme song. Cut, 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 cut. Fisherman expert. That's what, that's what I think about that. That's what, that's what my thoughts on that are. Cut, 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 cut. Me when the cod, you know. Uh, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Well, now that we've got a, a nice new resident in our um, recovery room, I still need to figure out what the heck I'm doing with these back room spaces. Um, sorry, that uh, I, I just noticed it and it and it bothered me a bit again. Um, it's fine. It's fine. I now do think I have one of every single type of villager down here. Oh, and except for shepherds, I don't have shepherds. Do I, do I get a shepherd just to commit to the bit? Just to commit to the bit of having every single type of villager down here? Because other than that, I mean, I've got farmer, alchemist, um, fletcher, armor, um, leather worker, mason, uh, cartographer, toolsmith, weaponsmith, fisherman. I mean, I really am just kind of missing um, shepherds, I think. Let me let me check real quick because I, I want to have one of all of them. Farmer, oh butcher! I don't have a butcher down here. I can fix that too. Uh, butcher, fisherman, librarian, armor, toolsmith, shepherd, leather worker, cleric. Um, oh, sorry, not alchemist, cleric, cartographer, uh, Fletcher, weaponsmith, mason, and then wandering trader is special, but they don't. Uh, stick around even if you name tag them. So a shepherd and a butcher are all that I'm missing All right You gonna yep fisherman master Oh, yo <laughs> oak boats. I, I can get oak boats. Isn't that nice? Script I'm writing is getting to a level where I have to fight it to kill it. Oh Oh, oh boy are 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 you hitting like when 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 you say that it automatically does make me think like AI sentience um like you're uh you, you know you you literally have to like kill it or else it's going to um you know take over the world and kill all of humanity wow I have six novel shells I just need two more to get another um another water boyo another water boyo friend. Me and me and water boy, oh friend, am I right? Uh, bu 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 bu. What was my next step? Ah, taking stock of the villagers. I want to be careful not to pull too many people into the rehab center. 
um, because I do like having a nice bustling village out here. Did there used to be two of you? Or, or has it always just been you? I don't remember. I hope that's fine. I hope that's okay. But yeah, let's take a look at how many people we've got hanging around. So we've got what you doing over here. I mean, we do have someone who wants to be a, a butcher already. I don't know that these are the trades that I would go for with a butcher. Um, so I'd probably want to break and replace the block a couple times. So, um, he ate the other. Oh, understandable. Uh, have a great day. I, I, I did not know. I'm so sorry. We've got a butcher over here. So what you're doing is an unclaimed villager and then a butcher, a, a novice Fletcher over there. Um... I know we've got an like a novice mason around as well somewhere. Yeah, a novice mason down there. Um oh, we've got another novice fletcher out here. I like having villagers out and about because I think it adds a lot of just life to this village and area. I li I like being able to just look out and see that there's people, you know, doing things. Yep, there's what you're doing. Here's another um, unclaimed villager. So it, it seems like there is a decently healthy population around. Oh yeah, and also this guy. So there, there's a decently healthy village population at the moment. Oh, we've got another large frog down here. Hold on, let me grab a name tag for the large frog. Um, for for the large frog moment. <laughs> Sometimes large frogs just wander into the pond down there and, you know, it's very silly of them, to be honest. Large frog. Alright. Got him. Boop. And a boop. Doop. And large frog, large frog, large frog, large frog. Okay. Hey there, buddy. Boom, large frog. Okay, so I do think that the village population is large enough that I could sneak two of the villagers away and have it be totally fine. Um, I'd, I'd like to wait until a village to wait until village council to get an exact count of what the village is looking like. Um, I mean, I saw three unclaimed villagers, so. I don't think it's too much to assume that the population is definitely high enough that, like, that that missing another two is not going to cause any problems. And even that, even, even so, if, like, even if so, I can just, um, I can just pass out some more free bread and that'll take care of the problem. Um, I'll be like, free bread! And everyone will be like, woo, 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 woo! That does also remind me, actually, that, um... I need to light up this space at some point, maybe. Okay, here's what we'll do. I'll I'll stay out today. Talk to the villagers at um at the little like evening trading council, just check on the population stuff. And then when it starts to get darker, I'm going to have my moss and carpet available for um for for doing moss and carpet things, you know. You yeah, found a spot on the tunnel board where you can stand and look at the note block without having to move your player at all. So now the script, uh, all that script has to do is click every four seconds. I mean, pop off, pop off. Way to go, script clicking every four seconds. I finished the script. Nice. Nicely, nicely. Here, I've got a couple emeralds. Um, Let me just yeet. I do also kind of want to see at some point how low I can get the cod trade. Like how, how cheap I can get it. Um, because eight is not bad. Uh, it's, th that's pretty efficient, actually. Um, I wonder if I could do more if I, if, if I just kept up a consistent cod trade from my guardian farm. Oh my gosh, I've got, like, that, that, that's a real commerce moment. I go to the guardian farm, pick up cod, you know, collect all the, all the things I need with that, and then the, the villager, um, like, turns into useful product for me. Wow! Why is it that every single time I play Minecraft, I somehow turn into, like, big capitalism? How 
How do I do this? How am I like this? I I just I just got excited about building an economy in in Minecraft with my trapped villagers. How am I why am I like this? I do not understand, but oh well, it's fine. Um it's it's totally fine. Totally 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 fine. Uh yeah, I mean this is a thriving village population. This is this is what like eight villagers. If I snatch two of them, that still leaves a he a healthy six, and I know that there's that many beds around still, so they'll be able to maintain the population as long as I keep them fed well. Yeah, I think this is totally fine. This is, yep, healthy, a, a healthy village that can be um, selected from for my own purposes, if you know what I mean. So probably. Probably will get the the butcher started first because um, I've already got the tool block for them, and then we'll build a loom and get the shepherd started. I don't really need the shepherd for anything. I don't think they have anything I want with their trades. Um, I, I, although I guess if I ever got into um into do, into deep darks more, which I don't think I will because I'm terrified of them and in hardcore. Um. But it could be nice to um, be able to get like a ton of carpets and stuff. Wait, do carpets act like wool blocks? Can do do carpets also muffle sound? Let's go grab a carpet and see if we can experiment. Uh, do I have any carpets? No, I do not. Wow, I just have wool. Hey, chat. Do any of you know if um, if carpets act like uh act like wool blocks i have spoilers if you want to know i would like to know actually uh spoilers yes they do act like wool blocks okay yeah so if i just um if i just want to trade for a bunch of carpets and then cover everything with carpet oh but then i couldn't do like covering everything with wool blocks as like a barrier but that could I, I mean it could be nice for resource management where it's like if i'm walking if i if i'm just like walking it could be carpet but if i need to like cover something it could be wool that's always a possibility anyway let's get um let's get ready for lighting up the night because i do need this space to be a little less dark and by a little less dark i mean i need mobs to stop spawning Making th so things don't spawn anymore. I really like the moss carpet meta because it means I don't have to feel bad about placing a bunch of light sources and then having it ruin the landscape. Boop, boop. This is probably dark enough to need some help. Uh, and all I'm say, I probably should be running around with F3 open and checking the light sourcings. Um, but I mean, ah! baby zombie, baby zombie, baby zombie. Let's uh, l l let's retreat to the 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 safetyer of the village. I should have been wearing my chest plate the whole time. It's fine. <sighs> the baby zombie. Listen. Listen, my guy. Listen. 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 Yeesh. Okay, well. Now I feel bad for for this guy getting her. Um, there we go. There we go. You had to give a rest estimate. How long till you Because I want to remind you about paper drop my mail before you go. Um, I'd say probably 20, 30 minutes. Don't become fills. I will not. I will not. I will not- I will not die to the most fearsome of all foes, the baby zombie. I'm not gonna do it. No matter how much you may want me to, I'm not gonna do it. I'm not going to perish to the baby zombie. They are- they are legitimately a fearsome foe though. Um, kind of- kind of unreasonably cracked. Okay, well this is a little nicer. Um, there are many mobs spawning at this point. So I should probably start sleeping very soon. Um, 
but let's get like one more in. And yep, that's good. That's good. I think that was a that was a good solid uh th that was a solid light up the darkness moment. And now let's go find a place where uh where monsters aren't going to be too close to sleep. There we go. There we go. Big sleepy times. Nothing to worry about here. Just big sleepies. Okay, I am going to go on Creeper Watch, though, because... Um, oh my gosh, is there... I swear if another Enderman teleports into my base, I'm going to cause problems on purpose. Very intentionally. The problems will be caused by me. Okay, yeah, and there's a couple creepers around. Oh, well, that guy died before I could, um, use, use, uh, looting. Okay. There's that one. Any other creepers around? Ooh, an arrow. Don't mind if I do. Oop, there's a creeper. Huh. Got him. Alright, any others? Anyone else wanna anyone else wanna fight? Let's make sure the script works in Zero on the tester, because yeah. Well, I mean yeah, that makes sense. That that does indeed make sense. And I don't see any other creepers. So oh wait, nope, there's one. It's so hard because they are green and everything else is also green. You know? You feel me? Whoop! Okay. Got him. Oh, and there's another one over here. Huh. Got him. All right, all right, all right. I think that is a secured area. Got 19 gunpowder from that. Isn't that crazy? Even works in survival, no armor, because that lights on keeping you safe from mob spawns. Nice. That is, that is pretty epic to have lights on, so no mob spawns. Yeah, um, one thing is I do actually want to make a quick jump over to my skeleton spawner to pick up some more arrows because I've kind of been bleeding arrows for the past little bit. And I'm pretty sure I've run through my stash. Oh wait, gunpowder goes in the special gunpowder box. I, I'm so sorry, I forgore. I just, I just simply forgore. I just, I just for gore. I did not mean to for gore. I just for gore. Okay, so let's go ahead and yeah, I'll just leave these things here again. I mean, I'll get back to it. I, I want to light up the whole area eventually, so I'll just do it like little itty bit at a time. That's gonna get snatched back to there. I've got a boat in hand. I'll keep that for whenever I want to trap the next villager. Um. So let's do that, and then oh, I I should tech I should check my toolbox to make sure that I don't have extra arrows. Oh, I've got like I've got like a stack or two, but I don't know. I just wanna I I think just topping up on arrows is a good thing to do with my time. Make sure I've got make sure I've got a, a, a decent amount on me, but but what if? But what if I didn't? What if I just needed a ton of arrows for some reason and I only had like two stacks? Here, actually, this can be solved with one rocket. I don't even really need a rocket for this because I am just going down over to here. But a rocket certainly makes it faster. And we're just gonna scooch on up over to here, going around, going up, big ups, big, big ups, and then, but then big downs as well. Do, 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 do. I should really not just be walking by lava whenever I do that, but it's fine because I say it is. Because I say that it's fine, so it is. So it's all fine. Oh, my script may have an issue. Aw, oh, man. I hate it when script has issues. But how do I have a drowned? How do I have a drowned in here? 
Huh. Interesting. Block you stand on has a minecart. It used to it, on it used to do the TNT. Mmm. I see, I see. What have we what what have we got at this moment in time? Oh, there are a couple arrows. Do I have I mean, I've got a decent arrow stash, but like nothing special. Here, and I know this isn't the, the fastest method in the world to do this. I could just buy more arrows if I want to, but you know, I made this I made this spawner all those ages and ages ago, but gosh darn golly, I'm gonna use it. Oh, is it the other one that I um oh I think on a different spawner I added in some um reinforced glass so that I could see through. That would have been that would have been cool to have here. <gasps> Nautilus shell, okay. Probably from that drowned, huh? Probably from that drowned. Well, um... Don't mind if I do. Don't mind if I do. Oh, and, uh, you know, I'll take the copper ingot as well. May as- I mean, may as well. I have to use some sort of honey system because players take down mm. Should make a pit to the death using honey to slide down. <gasps> that actually sounds so cool, Spinarex. That actually sounds so cool. Maybe, maybe I will do that actually because, um, because that sounds so neat. That sounds so neat and interesting. So, so exciting. Big, big excited about that actually. Huh. Huh. Well, 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 well. Okay, I actually, um, uh, this, this is a really slow method of getting here, so it probably, it probably would be better to just not use this one to either find a way to make it faster or better just purchase arrows from Fletcher's. Hmm. Some push limit strikes again. Yeah. From height limit to the deepest deep, just to assert dominance. Spinerix, why do you tempt me with these things? Why do you why do you tempt me with your with, with with your sweet words? I mean I've got a I've got a real good um like bee farm so I I could just set it to go and then just have a ton of honey blocks. Hmm. I should probably use a sweeping edge sword for this. Huh. That would have been a smart thing to do. But see, you do get some arrows from it. Also, a ton of bones. Actually, I do want to take bones with me because I am kind of running out of bones topside. So having bones would not be a bad thing to do. Oh, chat, should I, should I make a ton of bone blocks? I love bone blocks. Bone blocks are so cool. Um, maybe, maybe I steal a bunch of bones and I make a ton of bone blocks. I don't know what it is about bone blocks. Uh, oh, four by four hole decorated with glass covering caves on the way down. Then throw the, uh, the villager down. Spinerix, you are, you have a sick twisted mind, but I kind of like the way you think. I kind of, I kind of like, I kind of like the thoughts. Yeah, just having like a little four by four thing with, um, with, with honey and... Oh, oh, that would be so cool. That'd be so cool. Yeah, let's uh, just uh, just just smack the guys real quick. I'm I'm sorry, I don't make the rules. The guys just simply need to get smacked sometimes. Okay, well um, I th th this honestly is probably a, a a waste of my time here. So I'm just gonna grab some um grab some bones to refill my bone supplies and let's get scooching on back up towards the top. Is it nighttime outside? It's not nighttime outside. Okay, what if I do just start my my bee farm continuously running so that I can um so that I can someday build a giant pit of honey blocks all the way from height limit down. 
What it what it just just as as a silly goofy little thing to do, you know? A, a silly silly goofy thing. Would that do you think that would count for the um for the one challenge where you need to fall all the way from the bottom from the top of the world to the bottom of the world? Do you think that would count for that? That'd be a bit goofy. Hello? Can I help you? I don't trust that. I don't trust that. Did you see that? Did you see that chat? Walked away the second I got back. That is some sus behavior. Oh please, it's turning night already. Oh please, I can see the moon. It's fine. Honey block vertical parkour. Ooh, I would have to make sure there is no risk of death because risk of death sounds kind of terrible. But ooh. Against Benrex, you have a sick, twisted mind, but I like the way you think. Um, okay, what else did I get? I've got one copper ingot, and I've also got a nautilus shell. Water pool at the bottom. Yeah, honey block per core. Have to be able, have to like try and hit all of the all of the blocks, and then but a big pool of water at the bottom and nothing sharp sticking up in case I miss. That would be that would be kind of a fun project to work on. It's um. It's a bit different than the normal building stuff that I do, but I, I think it'd be fun to just have a, I don't know, have, have a fun little, a little thing to interact with. Wee, wee. Okay, let's, um, let's go ahead and turn my beehives on, my, my bee farm. How much honey do I have in here right now? Decent amount, and I've got got a decent amount of bottles in the droppers. So yeah, almost all. I, honestly, honestly, Spinerex, that does sound pretty neat. That does sound pretty cool, actually. All right, um, and now mostly we just kind of let this do its thing. Uh, we, we, yep, we, we we just let it do that thing. Me when me when we let it do that thing. Okay, see so now we're entering kind of the the the, the, the cult mentality. Um, which listen is not is not I, I'm not necessarily opposed, but it does provide some different challenges. Yeah, I do want to snatch some. I do want to snatch some things. Uh, so I can just real quick. Harvest the honey over here. Oh, it is raining, so the bees probably aren't coming out, huh? The bees are, are probably not vibing with the rain. Hmm. Here, let me just go back in the store for you tab. Hey, hello. Welcome back from store. I'm being tempted by um by Spinerx in chat to make a to make like a, a giant honey column from build height down to the bottom of the world that you can just slide down. Um uh, and it it sounds unreasonably nice. The only cor the cult we support here is orange. That's true. Orange cult is rather important. We haven't we ha we haven't uh participated in orange cult in a hot second, but like it is it is a, a, a pretty decent cult to have, I guess. I should probably start emptying these. Let's just, um... Let's just real quick... Just, just real quick. Just... Yep. Just, just really, really quickly. I should probably just turn the machine off for that, but where, where's the fun in that? Alright. Um, uh, I've got 13 honey blocks! 13 honey blocks, I tell you. 13 honey blocks. That can go there, and then these can go back into the system. Yep. Man, uh, getting enough honey blocks to do an entire uh, column would be kind of wild, but, you know, I'd be here for it. Still in the car. Hey! Car moment, Max. I hope the, I hope the car is 
working for you. I hope I know you're you're not having a bad time in the cart and yeah I, I know that the bees aren't going to be exiting their hives because of the rain oh unless these ones are wait hang on a second there's some bees right there there's a bee also hi miss kitty welcome to the stream it's so good to see you what are you making oh it's 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 very silly <laughs> it's very very silly um Essentially, uh, Spinerex is convincing me to make a massive honey column from build height down to the depths of the world that I can just like s glide down uh, to, for for a, for a little demonstration um, for for a little demonstration of what is being proposed here. Actually, I probably don't need the. Um, oh no, I do need the stone. Okay, hold up. This is a. Uh, Nope, not, not like that. Um, one moment, please. We are experiencing technical difficulties. One, one moment. Spinerex is right. I know! See, that's the thing, though. Is that Spinerex isn't wrong about this. Spinerex isn't wrong, so I'm, 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 I, I think it kind of needs to happen, right? Amethyst in, uh, invented a block back in the sides for added color and magicalness. <gasps> Ooh! So it's, so like, um... So, so this, this experience right here, except, um, except you said, like, it, it amethyst, like, right here along the back so that it's got pretty colors and stuff. <gasps> oh my gosh, what if, what if I did it, but, um, here, hold on, I'm, I'm gonna be very silly for a moment, just, uh, just picking up all of these, all these materials. Um, what if, what if I did it, but I did, but I did, like, but I did it like a kaleidoscope. So, uh, so there were sections that were like amethyst blocks, but also maybe some skulk blocks, um, like the, some some stained glass sections. Wouldn't that be so cool? Wouldn't that, wouldn't that be so cool to just make like a nice little kaleidoscope of honey blocks, but like, but but you slide down it instead of turning it to see different colors and stuff. Yeah, I, I don't think I don't think the bees are going in and out of the hives. Time for me to test and creative. It would be so cool. It would be so cool. I'm, I'm a little bit like, do I have? Do can I? Can I do another mega project at this moment in my life? Do I have? Um, cause cause I, I've got the the great hall that I'm working on and also the cube. But I mean, it it I could I could probably pick up another. I could probably pick up another big project. I, I, having lots to do makes it nice because then I just constantly have stuff instead of- Oh, and I've already got a decent amount of honey blocks already. Okay. But if I constantly have stuff to do, then I never get bored because I have a bunch of things to, to ping between like a little- like, like a little foosball table. Like a little foosball table guy. See, I don't like the way that the villagers are looking at me. I don't like it. If you like heist movies, there's also a show on Netflix called Kaleidoscope, or however you type it, I recommend it. Ooh, I may take a look. Switching projects reduces build fatigue. Exactly, Mr. Maluk, exactly. Because there's always something to do. I don't like the way the villages are looking at me. Who do they think they are, just coming out here and, and, and judging me like that? Don't they know who I am? I also kind of want to uh, break that smoker to um, to change the butcher's trades, but I don't think the butcher is currently looking at it, so I don't think that the butcher would actually notice. Sometimes they do that. Sometimes they don't notice that their tool block is gone until you like show them that it's not in the spot that they expect it to be, and then they go, "Oh no, my profession! Oh no, however, however will I, uh, however will I make my money for my family now? Oh no." Uh, did I type kaleidoscope right? Because it's a difficult word. Uh, you didn't. I can send you the correct spelling. Um, kaleidoscope. And uh, actually, let me let me make sure that I type that correctly because it is a it is a very weird word. Um. Yes, that's it. Uh, it's a really weird word. It's a it's a really really weird word. Hey Bernard, you know I should probably name tag a few more of these villagers so that they're not just like hanging out doing nothing. Yeah, I should I should probably 
grant some some of them um y you know uh names well that sounds like a that, that sounds like a future quimby problem to be perfectly frankly honest not english struggles no, I, to be honest though i think most people struggle with pronouncing uh or sorry with typing kaleidoscope like i, I think that is is tax villager still there yeah uh, um okay well not not here anymore um tax villager has been um has been convinced to change professions and um uh, the uh, has been convinced to change professions make it automatic honey farm so you you can worry about honey tower later oh uh, the my honey farm is automatic i've now that i've turned it on it'll just keep going and uh collecting honey and stuff and i'm pretty sure it's within loaded chunks too uh but yeah tax villager has been so kindly moved over to here i should i should name tag tax villager so we you know remember that one doop -a -doop -a -doop -a -doop -a -doop. is it nighttime outside not yet. That is just the rain. But yes. Honey farm is automatic. Boop. I am running through these name tags very fast today. I've used like three. Uh, tax villager. Me win tax villager. That I need all my points for royal halls. Otherwise would have used that name. <laughs> yeah, it makes sense honestly. But um... I don't mind naming tax villager tax villager because that's just simply that's just simply who they are they were they were from the irs and now are a humble fisherman in recovery from a traumatic experience you see man tax villager um should probably pick up more cod to do some more trades probably uh probably would be a good plan huh oh now it's for sure nighttime now it's for sure nighttime. Hundred percent. Okay. Um, I am nosy, so I would like to go check on the bee farm to make sure it's producing now that the rain has stopped. Now that the rain has ended, um, I would I would like to make sure that uh that my that, that my honey farm is working as intended. Gotta go have a nice stream. Oh, yep. Thanks, Max. Thanks for stopping in. It was nice having you. I hope you have a great rest of the time in the car. Yeah, so it's definitely going. It's, it's definitely going. Are, are the bees... Yeah, bees are working, though. The bees, the bees are definitely working. Me just... Me, me just watching things like, hmm... Bee buzzes happily. Bee buzzes happily. That 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 happened. Bee buzzes happily again. The bees they are buzzing happily. Oh, that's a bee from these hives. Bee enters hive. Yeah. What you what you doing out here? Huh? What you doing? What you doing? Hey, hey, hey! I was talking. I, I'm talking to you. What? What are you walking away for here? It's fine. 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 It's totally, totally fine and normal and okay and chill and yeah. I'm like bees. Bees do the thing. Bees do the thing. Oh, look at this horse. This is a pretty horse. <gasps> wow. Nature. Look at it go. Okay. Alright. Um, okay, I'm going to turn off for just a second. Oh, well, now they're all leaving. Did, did, did they not want to leave while it was on? I mean... I guess, uh, I guess that's probably serendipity because I've, I've seen this thing work before while it wasn't on. Probably just all, all decided to go because we reached the time of the day that the bees all decide to go. 
See, this is when it would be nice to build a farm like this in the end, so that I um, so I don't need to worry about um, so I don't so I don't need to worry about it. I'm like I'm like please please inform if 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 farm work. Please 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 inform. Please would like to know if uh if farm work because uh would would be very nice to know. I say that like I don't know that it works, but also it's yeah, see yep, there we go. Yep, okay, I'm I'm leaving it I'm I'm leaving it to its work. Uh I uh Yep, just just letting it do its thing. Letting it do its thing. It will it will happen. I just go check on it occasionally and then um and then success. And it's all okay. It's all okay and fine and normal and fine and okay and fine. Oh, let's find another villager to steal. I want to What do I need for a loom? What, what, do, what do I need for a loom? String and planks. Not bad, I have planks on hand. And then I got two string just right in here. Okay, that should be on just in case. All right, let's uh, let's see what we got. Looks like we've got a um, looks like we've got a bite. All right, fair and reasonable. Got some good wool there, kid. You wanna? Oh, I probably I need to now trade wool to to lock the trade in. Um, this is gray wool. Okay, hold on. Stay right there for a minute. Do I have any white wool on hand? Um, I've got 16. Uh, let me, let me grab my shears. There's some white sheep in the area. Um, hold on, hold on just a second. I've got my skizzies. Stay right there. Just real quick, just doing big zoomies. Um, a white sheep. Okay, that'll cover. That's exactly eighteen. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Wee! Hey, kid. <laughs> Immediately places wool. Um, let's lock that trade in for you, and go on an adventure. Go on a nice little adventure, just the two of us. Nice, nice little adventure. Boop, boop, boop. Alright, 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 alright. We have the villager secured. And. And. Yep, headed over to the area. Boop! The villager is in the area. Okay, all right, there we go. Um, and you know what, chat? Let's actually finish the rest of this process tomorrow because I have some things that I need to get doing. So that's gonna be it for today. We're, we're gonna pause there, move on to the frog screen, and then turn on some jazz. Remember, paper don't mind. I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll look into it. Um, Honestly, uh, tonight is one of the nights that the theater is open, so I don't know how much time I'll have to think about it. Just keep bothering me until I do. Um, see you, Kumi? Yeah! See you guys. Um, thank you everyone for coming to the stream. 
I hope you had a wonderful, amazing, incredible time. Um, yeah, I will be back tomorrow. I'm currently streaming Tuesday through Saturday, starting a little after 1.30 p.m. Eastern time. Um, and oh my gosh, wait, is it my, is it my two year anniversary tomorrow? Wait just a second. Wait just a second, eat frog. Oh, please don't. Um, hey chat, I've just realized that we are approaching my two year anniversary at some point. Um, it's, I think it's either tomorrow or May 28th. Um, so that's, that's kind of wild. Uh, I'll let you guys know if I'm going to be doing anything special for it. Uh, cause I'd, I'd love to, I'd, I'd love to do a special little thing for an anniversary. Don't know what in the heck it's going to be, but I'd love to do something. Um, wow. Okay. Okay. Um, cool. For now, let's see if we can find someone to raid because raid pog. Oh, I do enjoy raiding. Let's see who we've got. Uh, chat, do you want to get- oh, windows shut up. Uh, chat, do you want to, um, do you want to get sent out to the otters? Uh, I haven't sent you guys to marine mammal rescue in a hot second. Um, let's maybe send you guys out there, because otters are really cool. Otters are very, very pog. Yeah, um... I just like I just like occasionally send you guys out to uh wow I can't spell wow I really can't spell um I, I occasionally just uh, like send you guys to animal or to animals because I think animals are really nice okay so um yeah uh if you want to go watch some otters go watch some otters if you're headed somewhere else on Twitch you know that's pretty cool too um. Yeah, make sure to drink water, eat food, take care of yourselves. I will see you all tomorrow, um, next time, whenever, whenever you're back. And yeah, bye-bye. See you next time.